Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET. Today we're going to take a look at the Dell XPS 8500. So this is a higher-end mid-tower for Dell. This config comes in at about 1999. The highlight feature is probably its Core i7-3770 CPU. That's one of Intel's new third-generation Ivy Bridge chips. And it makes the system one of the faster mainstream PCs out there, but overall it's kind of hard to recommend. So if you're familiar with Dell's desktop lineup, this system should look familiar. They haven't really tweaked the chassis in a couple of years. It's got a nice clean look to it. We like the white and the black here in the front. It looks pretty clean as well. Dell's actually eliminated a door on the front of this system. So now the USB ports are just exposed on the front, making them easier to get to, if not maybe messing the aesthetic up a little bit. We can live with that. Behind this door here, you'll find a Blu-ray drive, and up here you have your standard array of media card slots. Swing around to the back of the system, you see a nice assortment of ports. There's nothing too innovative here, but there's pretty much every connection you'd need for modern hardware. So from the top, we've got some USB 2 jacks here. There's USB 3, that's becoming more common now. There is an SPDIF digital audio output, as well as standard 7.1 analog out. Down here in the graphics card, you've got all kinds of outputs. There's DVI, two display ports, as well as standard HDMI out. So inside the system, it looks like kind of the typical mess that we're used to from mainstream PCs. Uh, you can see the Core i7 CPU here. Here you've got an AMD Radeon 7870 graphics card. It's pretty high-end. There's 16 gigs of RAM. That's becoming more common in high-end systems also. And here Dell's included a 3 terabyte hard drive, giving you all kinds of storage. Now one of the more interesting features of this system you actually can't really see in here. There's an Intel SRT solid-state hard drive buried underneath the graphics card. SRT also provides faster access to commonly used files, so for games or other applications that you use often, it'll be able to load them up and run them generally a lot faster than they would otherwise. Despite all those great features, the problem with this system is it's bang for the buck. As usual, the boutique vendors out there are really pushing hard on performance. The system from Origin, for example, we tested cost about $1,200 and outperformed this 1999 Dell on pretty much every benchmark. That makes it hard to recommend this system, even though it's relatively capable. So overall, this is a well-built PC with some interesting features, but I can't really recommend it because it doesn't offer enough value for its price. So I'm Rich Brown. This is the Dell XPS 8500.